Hey there, tech enthusiasts and curious minds. Buckle up because we're diving into the world of Google Gemini, Google's latest brainchild in artificial intelligence, AI. Imagine a world where your digital assistant doesn't just understand text, but can juggle code, audio, video, and images like a pro. That's Google Gemini for you, unveiled at the flashy Google I.O. developer conference back in May 2023. So, what's the big deal with Gemini? Picture this. It's not just another large language model, LLM, on the block. Google has upped the ante by joining forces with the wizards at DeepMind and Brain AI Labs. The result? A multimodal marvel that can handle different data types like a champ. Now, let's talk versatility. Google Gemini isn't just flexing its muscles in one area. Whether it's solving complex math problems, unraveling the mysteries of physics, or spinning up high-quality code in a plethora of programming languages, Gemini does it all. It's like having a Swiss Army knife in your AI toolkit. But wait, there's more. You know how sometimes technology can be super powerful but a pain to use on different devices. Google thought of that. Gemini is designed to be your go-to AI, whether you're working in a beefy data center or just chilling with your Google Pixel 8. They're even planning to weave this AI magic into more Google services. Here's where it gets even cooler. Google Gemini comes in three flavors, Nano, Pro, and Ultra. Each one is tailored to offer a different level of oomph. The Pro version is already turning heads with its performance, rivaling GPT 3.5 and the Ultra. It's rumored to outshine even GPT 4. How's that for impressive? But Gemini isn't just about flexing its computational muscles. Its architecture is a game changer. Imagine generating images directly from mixed prompts of image and text sequences. No middleman, no fuss. It's like having an artist and a poet rolled into one digital package. Google's foray into the world of advanced artificial intelligence, AI, with its Gemini project has been launched in various forms and is set to revolutionize how we interact with technology across different platforms and services. Let's break down the rollout of this groundbreaking technology. Number 1. Gemini Pro in Bard As of December 8, 2023, Gemini Pro has been integrated into Bard, Google's innovative AI chatbot. This integration marks a significant milestone, showcasing the capabilities of Gemini Pro in understanding and responding to human language in a sophisticated manner. Number 2. Gemini Pro for Enterprise Customers Starting December 13, 2023, enterprise customers who use Vertex AI, Google's fully managed machine learning platform, will have access to Gemini Pro. This opens up new avenues for businesses to leverage AI for complex data processing and decision-making tasks. Number 3. Broader Integration in Google Products in the coming months, Gemini will be a core component in various Google products, including Duet AI, Chrome, and Google Ads. It will also enhance the Google search experience as part of the search generative experience. This widespread integration signifies Google's commitment to embedding advanced AI across its ecosystem. Number 4. Launch of Gemini Ultra A more potent version of the model, Gemini Ultra, is set to be available to select customers, developers, partners, and experts in safety and responsibility. This initial phase will precede a broader rollout to developers and enterprise customers, with integration into BARD planned for early 2024. The most powerful version of Gemini is scheduled to debut in 2024, subject to extensive trust and safety evaluations. Number 5. Gemini Nano for on-device applications Tailored for on-device applications, Gemini Nano will be featured in Google Pixel phones, starting with the Pixel 8 Pro. This version will power new features like the Summarize option in the Recorder app and Smart Reply in Gboard, enhancing the user experience with intelligent and responsive functionalities. Number 6. Availability of Gemini's Crypto-Native Finance Platform as of December 3, 2023, Gemini's crypto-native finance platform is available in every U.S. state and over 60 countries, indicating Google's commitment to making advanced AI accessible on a global scale. The rollout of Google Gemini represents a significant step in the evolution of AI. 
offering a glimpse into a future where technology seamlessly integrates into our daily lives, enhancing our interactions with the digital world. Google's Gemini and OpenAI's GPT-4. It's like watching an epic battle of brains in the AI universe, and you've got a front row seat. First up, let's talk about Google's brainchild, Gemini. Picture this, a family of AI models, each with its own special powers. We've got Gemini Ultra, Pro, and Nano, each crafted for different levels of complexity and efficiency. It's like having a superhero team where each member has their own unique superpower. Now, enter GPT-4, OpenAI's solo star, launched in March 2023. This one's a standalone hero, rocking the AI world with its own set of skills. Here's where things get juicy. Gemini isn't just a wordsmith, it's got eyes and ears too. It can recognize images and speak in real time. And guess what? Rumor has it that it's five times stronger than GPT-4, all thanks to Google's supercharged TPU V5 chips. This means Gemini can tackle complex tasks, like solving a Sunday crossword puzzle. When it comes to flexing their muscles, Gemini Ultra is stealing the show. It's outperforming GPT-4 in most academic benchmarks, like a brainiac in a spelling bee. Think of it as excelling in reasoning, math, and even whipping up Python code like a Michelin-starred chef. But hold on, it's not all smooth sailing for Gemini. In a head-to-head -head basketball trivia showdown, GPT-4 dunked more accurate answers than Gemini Pro. And in a five-shot setting, GPT-4 played like a seasoned pro, outscoring Gemini Ultra. It shows that both AI models have their own playgrounds where they shine. Google's latest tech marvel, the Tensor Processing Unit, TPU V5e, is like the newest AI accelerator that is optimized for those tricky transformer-based, text-focused AI workloads. And let me tell you, it's not just showing up, it's showing off. Imagine a gym where AI models go to bulk up. That's TPU V5e for you. It's offering double the training performance per dollar and 2.5 times the inference performance per dollar compared to its predecessors. That's like getting a gym membership with twice the benefits at the same price. And the raw power? We're talking about a peak performance of 393 teraflops of INT8 per chip. To put that in perspective, it's like jumping from a sports car, TPU V4, with its 2 and 75 petaflops, straight into a rocket ship. Now, here's where it gets even cooler. The TPU V5e is like a friendly neighbor in the AI world. It's the first of Google's AI chips to go global, breaking free from the North American exclusivity of the TPU V4. But wait, there's more. This powerhouse isn't just about brute strength. It's like an AI whisperer, enabling users to scale their TPU clusters to new heights. Imagine handling a massive AI workload that spans across tens of thousands of chips. That's like having an army of robots at your command. Google's not putting all its eggs in one basket, though. Alongside the TPU V5e, it's also playing nice with NVIDIA's H100 GPUs in the A3 supercomputer. It's all about giving customers a variety of choices, like a buffet of AI chips. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, enter the TPU V5P, the big brother of the TPU V5e. It's the most powerful, scalable, and flexible AI accelerator Google has to offer. It's like comparing a speedboat, V5e, to a luxury yacht, V5P. Sure, the V5e may not be as fast, but it offers more bang for your buck. Integrating with systems like Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE, and Vertex AI, and cozying up with frameworks like PyTorch, JAX, and TensorFlow, the TPU V5e is all about user-friendliness. It's like having an AI gym with personal trainers ready to guide you at every step. AlphaCode 2, a cutting-edge AI programming tool from Google's DeepMind, is an upgraded version of its predecessor, AlphaCode, now turbocharged with the Gemini Pro AI model. This new iteration has shown impressive results, surpassing 85% of competitors in CodeForce programming competitions, a significant leap from the original AlphaCode's 50% success rate. This AI whiz is not just a one-trick pony. It's proficient in several programming languages like Python, Java, C++, and Go, tackling complex mathematical and theoretical computer science problems with ease. AlphaCode 2 uses dynamic programming, 
breaking down daunting problems into more manageable sub-problems. The AI's approach involves generating multiple code samples for each challenge through policy models. It then filters out irrelevant samples and uses a clustering algorithm to remove redundant code. The final step involves a scoring model that picks the best solution from the 10 most promising clusters of code samples. However, AlphaCode 2 isn't without its challenges. It relies heavily on trial and error, incurs high operational costs, and needs to filter out undesirable code. Researchers are eyeing a shift to a more powerful Gemini model, like the Gemini Ultra, to overcome these hurdles. DeepMind's VP, Eli Collins, envisions a future where programmers and AlphaCode 2 collaborate, enhancing coding capabilities. But for now, the tool's brute force approach and computational demands make it a bit too pricey for public release, pending further efficiency improvements. In the grand digital theater of Reddit, are we all just spectators, or are we shaping the script with every upvote, downvote, and comment we make? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.